Hi, it's Dwyer. Money, 1776.com, a free site. Also, always, 1776.com, a free site. It is May the 4th, 2024. Nothing I say in this video should be construed as investment advice. I want everyone doing their own due diligence, relying on their own financial advisors. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, artificial intelligence is with us. It's going to be a shaping force in our lives for the foreseeable future, right? Understand, it's just the next step up in computing, right? This internet infrastructure has gotten an upgrade. We now demand more from our computers, including the ability to write code for computers to create video, to do graphic design work for us, to even write chapters of books for us or essays, right? You're going to see more and more people. I myself have tried this in the past. Clone their voices so that they can type out something and have it read online. I was on one of these voice cloning sites and after about five minutes the site had cloned my voice where I myself was listening to it and was impressed. Right? You're gonna have really a new era where companies like Sports Illustrated could actually have fake authors, right? AI was preparing some of the articles. Well, now what we're going to have is you're going to be watching a show and you're going to see people in the news studio or doing a sportscast and they're going to be virtual, right? Celebrities are going to sign over their likeness. Celebrities might even be involved in talking about their views of events. And then, of course, AI can take it over from there. So, let's actually look at AI here and let's look at the investment opportunities. You have to look at the entire ecosystem. You can't just focus on semiconductors, right? We know the semiconductor stocks, NVIDIA, symbol NVDA, AMD, right? symbol AMD, Taiwan Semiconductor, symbol TSMC, right? We understand, too, that the space is evolving so that Google and Amazon are now creating their own chips. You also understand, too, that Meta is so committed to AI that they bought a huge number of NVIDIA chips. We understand NVIDIA has the head start. But that head start might not last. We understand that the price earnings multiple on NVIDIA is at nosebleed levels. Right? Don't be one of these investors who looks at the nosebleed levels on NVIDIA and who then makes a decision that you're too late to the party. Because the ecosystem is too involved for anyone to believe that AI boils down to semiconductors. So in this video, let's look at the ecosystem to figure out the investment opportunities that artificial intelligence provides. Understand, AI depends on digital data centers. Right? You want to look up Digital Realty Trust. The symbol is DLR. Right? Understand, at different stages of the ecosystem, there are well-positioned entities that are publicly traded stocks. Another is Equinix, E-Q-I-X. Right? When you put in an AI search 
Folks, it's being sorted and computed someplace. Right? Don't be silly enough to believe there's some special cloud someplace. No, the cloud is actually a digital data center. These REITs, real estate investment trusts, are sometimes publicly traded. Take a look at DLR and EQIX. Now keep in mind, in the data center, it's not just the building, there are things inside. There are servers, right? Dell computer, the symbol is D-E-L-L. -L. And Hewlett Packard Enterprise, the symbol is H-P-E. And Super Micro Computer, the symbol is SMCI. As well as Arista Networks, the symbol is ANET. They are some of the companies that have equipment inside many of these digital data centers. In other words, they are part of the artificial intelligence infrastructure. And food for thought. They're trading at more reasonably priced multiples than, let's say, an NVIDIA. Now, keep in mind that the items in the data center have to be maintained, right? The IT infrastructure equipment has certain needs. One of them is that they need to operate within a certain comfortable range of temperature, right? So you need cooling mechanisms to help maintain the servers that are in the data center. A company that's well positioned in that space is Vertif Holdings. Again, Vertif, V-E-R-T-I-F Holdings. The symbol is VRT. Let me also point out too, that you need databases that are going to store the information. The databases need to be reliable. So when you go to access the information, it's there. We call that cloud computing. The incumbents, right, heavily capitalized Magnificent Seven companies, Google, G-O-O-G, Amazon, A-M-Z-N, Microsoft, M-F, excuse me, M-S-F-T, right? They are Goliaths in the cloud computing space, right? Just understand, because of the heavy capitalization needed, and because of the reputations needed to have customers think you can safeguard their data. It's the well-established incumbent players who have a huge moat around them. You're not going to trust your data to some fly-by-night company offering lower prices. No, you have used Amazon in the past for Euro needs Amazon Prime. They're now in video streaming, right? Prime Video, uh, Amazon Shopping. You have used Amazon. You've built up trust with Amazon. You've used the Microsoft uh, operating system in the past. You have trusted Google in the past. These are the companies ruling the roost right now in cloud computing. Understand cloud computing is a major part of the artificial intelligence space. Let me make another point too. I know some of the prices on some of these Magnificent Seven companies uh, seem high, right? They don't when you do a price earnings analysis, right? Google right here seems underpriced to me. Don't just look at the price per share what you want to do is compare it to the earnings of the company as well as the other services offered by these companies. 
Now let's get a little bit further afield here. It's not readily apparent, but yet another big part, it's an essential part of the artificial intelligence ecosystem is the energy, the electricity that is needed to run these AI data centers. Right, if you have all of these servers at a data center, right, one stacked up with the other, and they're computing a lot of data, folks, that takes energy. Now, it might shock some people, but understand, to create electricity, you need things like coal, natural gas, oil. Believe it or not, in the high-tech space, there is an acute need right now for fossil fuels. Some natural gas suppliers, Chenier Energy, the symbol is LNG, you want delivery services so they can d deliver the natural gas where it needs to go. Kinder Morgan, the symbol is KMI, another natural gas producer is EQT, a company we've talked about here in the past. The symbol is EQT. Now let's get further afield here. You understand that we're in an era of heavy duty competing energy users, right? There's only so much energy to go around. Our electrical grid can only handle so much. You have AI, which uses a lot of electricity. I've read, and double check me on this, that just one NVIDIA chip uses as much electricity as an entire household. Right? Well, just understand, here's where we need to get more muscular. Nuclear energy is going to necessarily be a part of providing, serving the energy needs of not just AI, but also crypto you remember, it was just 18 months ago when you had senators in Congress complaining about the energy demands of crypto, right? Think about how antiquated those arguments are when you consider now we have the energy demands of AI. And of course, we have the energy demands of EVs, electric vehicles, right? Same energy grid. You have these huge new uses for energy. Folks, we're going to have to start exploring ways to meet that in an environmentally safe manner. Think about nuclear. Think about Cameco, uranium producer. When you're talking about nuclear, uranium has to come into the conversation. Think about Cameco. The symbol is CCJ. Think about Energy Fuels, Inc. The symbol is U, 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 U. Again, U, 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 U. Think about Yellow Cake, PLC. The symbol is YCA dot L. Think about Denison Mines. By the way, the uranium space, as the uranium investors know, has been up in the last year. Right? The secret to great investing is you don't have to be in a popular field. You just have to study it, figure out that it's in demand, know it. So when times like this happen, when you have energy intensive technologies that people want to use when OpenAI goes parabolic after its release and has a high rate of adoption. When you're on the sidelines and you're just looking around and you're thinking, man, that's the 10th Tesla I've seen today. 
right? When you're looking at crypto and you realize, wow, now you have spot Bitcoin ETFs. Now BlackRock and Larry Fink are in the space, right? This could lead to a lot of energy consumption, right? If you're smart enough to realize that there are profits to be made and you're in the uranium space, you've been having your own private party, right? Denison Mines Corporation, the symbol is DNN. Look at that chart over the last year. Let's go one step further. You know, America really has ignored building nuclear plants. Right? Three Mile Island um, scared us. Right? Nuclear wasn't really viewed fondly, as fondly as, let's say, windmills, green energy. Right? Nuclear uh, doesn't have the PR department that those other technologies have. Right? Solar. Right? Understand nuclear much more efficient, much higher yielding. Right? As an investor, you want to dare go where there aren't great PR departments. Right? Where politicians don't sound as good, talking about nuclear energy as they do green energy. Well, let's explore the nuclear space even more because understand the energy needs are that acute. You might have even noticed your own energy bill jumping in value, right? I believe that oil, which is now around $77 a barrel, is going to head up. Understand, I'm an Exxon investor, have been for a while, right? So what I want people to do, given that the United States has ignored building nuclear reactors is to look at nuclear reactors right now. What's the fastest way to build a nuclear reactor? There's something called modular nuclear reactors, believe it or not. Right in the space, you have New Scale Power Corporation. The symbol is SMR. Right? The space is so new that New Scale is still figuring out how to commercially exploit its technology. You also have BWX Technologies. The symbol is BWXT. Again, BWXT. Understand, they already help our military. Right? Our military needs energy on the go. Right? The need overcomes the politics. My point to you is you need to look at AI. You need to, far beyond considering semiconductors, you need to think about all the energy that's needed in the space. Right, folks, again, a lot of energy is needed for these semiconductor chips. A lot. Right, so in this space, I believe you want to look at uranium companies, yellow cake, PLC, symbol is YCA.L. You want to look at these uranium companies. You want to look at these modular nuclear reactor companies. Folks, it's all related. Do you think our current energy grid is going to be able to handle all of these new technologies? Right, I'm just telling you, AI is such a game changer that it's my prediction that it's going to become so commonplace that we aren't even going to call it AI anymore. It'll be like high tech from back in the days where we dropped the word high because everyone was online. We all understood that computers were part of our futures, right? AR is part, excuse me, AI is part of our futures, right? As I've said, the computer coding space has already been disintermediated. Let me point out, too, that there was a time 
when we wondered whether a computer program could beat the reigning chess grandmaster. Folks, we're well past that. Understand, too, we're moving into a space where robotics is going to start to take over. Right? Voice recognition. Um, you're going to pull into a drive through at a restaurant in a state that's mandating workers be paid $20 an hour. To get a competitive edge, the entrepreneur operating the restaurant is instead going to have voice recognition software at that drive through So you're going to say, hey, can I have a burger, fries, and a vanilla shake? And understand the system is going to be able to talk to you. And is going to say, sir, what size shake would you like? Right? They're going to make the money back on that system quickly because they'll be saving $20 an hour. Right? Just, just understand where we're going with all this. Right? Five years from now, I don't think anyone's going to mention AI. We're just going to view it as intelligence. The understanding is going to be that intelligence necessarily can be human-based or it could be artificial. Right? I believe we're going to look at celebrities on TV. You're going to watch a sports event and you're going to see Tom Brady. You're going to say, hey, there's Tom Brady. And of course, you're going to be looking at a very realistic looking avatar of Tom Brady. Tom might not even have to do the game as an announcer. He might be able to, or an analyst, he might be able to write down his thoughts and have AI figure out how to make it mesh with the video you're seeing. So you'll hear Tom Brady talk about different teams. It'll be Tom Brady's views. He will have given instructions to the, you know, uh, AI computational system behind his avatar. Right? And just understand, um, that's going to jump the fence. In time, you're going to have more and more meetings where you're going to wonder, is the person I'm talking with even a person? Are they actually there? That's where we're headed. Understand, when you think of AI, think of more than semiconductors. There are many publicly traded companies that are very well positioned in the ecosystem at different stages of the process. Those are my thoughts this May 4th, 2024. Let me hear yours. I hope you leave them in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.